I welcome to Sicilia Wives. In last episode, I finished my trip in Bagaria, and this time I'm in Aspra, which is the seaside of Bagaria. And if you don't know yet, then I'm traveling around Sicily only on foot. I will have more or less uh, 1,000 kilometers to go. And as I told you, now I need to continue from Bagaria, and I will be going towards Messina. But this time I'm not alone because uh, there is uh, Yaren. A real Sicilian guy, come here, Yaren. He will be helping me with all the videos and will be traveling together with me. And at the same time, definitely, as he's Sicilian, he can teach me and to you also some Sicilian words. Maybe you want to teach uh, something now? Some kind of something Sicilian now, word, yeah? I think that uh, it's better to say now Amunini. That means Amunini. Uh, Amunini. How do you pronounce Amunini? Amunini. Amunini, okay, That's and the meaning? Mean, come on. Come on, come okay, on. come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah, Amunini, so remember Amunini? Okay. And so, are you ready to uh, teach also another new words, uh, new phrases uh, in our new videos? Uh huh, I can do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so he can be also our Sicilian teacher, of course. And so, come with us, uh, follow us uh, with our trip and now we need to start walking. As I told you, we will have more or less, uh, I think, 600 kilometers to go on foot. So, as I told you, come with us. Bagaria, and uh, now I can like see where I am at the moment. So I was walking from here to the street, now from here, and in this moment I am exactly here. You see? So whenever you come to Bagaria, just uh, come here. I mean, you should come here to find this map. And like this you can uh, maybe organize all things a little bit better. And now we need to go to visit the Villa Palagonia, which is just over here. So let's go. Now we have entered the Villa Palagonia's uh, garden at first. And the villa is over there, as you can see. And it's also one of the most visited monuments uh, here in Sicily. And uh, let's go and see from closer. Then there is also a second name for this villa. It's also called the Villa of Monsters. Because as you will see now very soon, there are different stages which uh, look like monsters, but at the same time they have uh, also human faces.
start to build this villa in uh, 1715 and it has been always considered as one of the most original places in the whole world and at the same time it has been always very famous in the whole Europe. Yeah, come with me, come, come. 